All right, guys, this fight between Tim Boach and Dan Henderson, it ain't no chess match. They both got big right hands. They're, big, they're both big, strong dudes that are going to move forward. Dan Henderson, he's fought everybody. He's beaten many UFC champions, many Pride champions. He's done it all. And he's also beaten the great Fedor. Now, Dan Henderson's power punch, we all know, is the H-bomb, the overhand right. The flying H-bomb is usually used by Dan when, after he's knocked the guy down with an overhand right, the H-bomb itself. Tim Boach, out of his last six, he's only picked up two wins. But he's got a lot of heart and you can never count him out. And very similar like Dan, Dan Henderson, he's got a big right, right punch. But they both throw very different punches. Boach's number one punch puts his opponents on his heels is his big uppercut. That powerful swinging circular uppercut. He's very good on the inside fighting. Tim Boach is a forward fighter. Doesn't fight much from the outside, so he's playing right into Dan Henderson's game. When it comes to the ground game, I think both men are gonna just try to scramble up to their feet if they're on the bottom. And the guy on top is gonna just kind of control the position and ground and pound. But the majority of this fight, the winner of this fight is gonna be who dominates the stand-up. They both got big right hands. They're, big, they're both big, strong dudes that are gonna move forward. But Dan Henderson has the edge because he's been in the biggest fights against the biggest names, and he's come out the winner many times. Tim Boach has fought some tough guys, but when he fought the big names, he struggled. He struggled really hard against Yoshinokami, even though he picked up the win. And I think Dan Henderson is just that other level.